turbocharged backpack. The genius sisters use him like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme genes in an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! are still trying to catch the mysterious underground bandits. There it is! The most powerful, large, uh, pointy thing! Missile! It's a missile in the world! Was that supposed to happen? Now, don't think of it as an SUV. Think of it as an insult you drive. $500 to anyone who can help solve these totally freaky and bizarre crimes. For the last time, Johnny, the underground bandits are not mole people! Then I'll prove it, Dookie Boy, with the mole people bait. That's you. Then capture the crime digitally, collect $500, buy 20 video games, and if you play along, a steak. Come get me, mole people! I'm full of macho, leathery biker goodness! Isn't that your dad's new camera he told you, touch it and die? Yes, but notice how I'm not actually physically touching it. Ah, the camera! It's gone! My butt! It's naked! Ah, naked butt! <laughs> <laughs> Mole people? That's the most unscientific thing I've ever heard. You know, it could be mole people. You cannot be my super genius prodigy twin sister. Ah! Oh! Sibling match positive. I need the keys to the atomic earth dozer before... Johnny! Where's my new camera? Uh, it was mole people, Dad. Thieves of the Earth's crust. Pirates of the subterranean. They took your camera. We tried to stop them, but... Fine, okay. Well, then get me my camera back from the mole people before dinner, or no video games, no comic books, and no uh, dookie. <laughs> Until you're 30. Oh, and dinner's at 6. <laughs> I'm making a meatloaf. <laughs> You can have the keys to the dozer if you do us one small, tiny, scientific favor. You want me to eat salt? It's not salt. They're microphysic hottie body flakes. They genetically adjust your body to maximum teenage hotness that will attract super cuties like... <sighs> Gil next door. I eat the salt, then you help me locate Mole City and give me the dozer so I can get back Dad's camera and defeat... Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> Too much female growth hormone. What have you done? He, she is hideous! Relax, you talking hairball. It's a micro dosage and only temporary. <laughs> <laughs> a sonar scan shows a hollow pocket here. It's probably the sinkhole that sucked down the camera. Or... Mole City! Or a sinkhole! <laughs> ha! It is I, Bling Bling Boy, the world's youngest and evilest mine. What now, Eugene? Bling Bling Boy! I have changed my name to Bling Bling Boy! And 
that unless you, Susan Test, have dinner with me on a date. Blah. I will destroy Pork Belly with my... Don't you... Like I was saying... The Taser Laser, Wapper Zapper, and the Zing Ray. But only use them if the mole people are aggressive. Zing! Paul! It's going to take you a while to get down there, but don't go full speed or you'll damage the delicate... Lithosphere. Ten minutes later. <laughs> Ten more minutes later. How are you doing? I am used to it. Hi, honey. How are the kids? Oh, Johnny's looking for my new camera, and the girls haven't blown up a thing all day. That's great. And dinner will be ready in about a half hour. I'm making a meatloaf. <laughs> We jump out, show the mole people we mean no harm, grab the camera, and get home for dinner. Right. We come in peace and only want what's rightfully your dad's. Surrender, mole people! Or face our wrath! Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Okay, okay, let's not freak out. I mean, how dangerous can mole people be? Our security has been breached by the surface dwellers! You know, the kid in that mud over there. So, we must speed up our attack on the Earth's surface! Okay, we can... Freak out now! And with our mole booster rockets, we can blow a hole big enough in the surface to unleash our mole army! And nothing can stop us! We've got to do something. Okay, we catch a fishing boat to Iceland, moles hate bright light, and we'll carve out a living making elixirs for the locals. Shouldn't we try to help Johnny? He is our brother. Susan Tess! I command you to have dinner with me or face my wrath! Do you still have your evil Surface Smasher 9000 you used to brag about? Oh, uh-huh. Yeah, why? Small people, stand down, for I am here to... Surrender! Please don't hurt me. I bruise easy. <laughs> When should we begin the attack on the surface, sir? Oh, I don't know. Five minutes. I want to get a haircut. I want to look great when we take over the Earth. <laughs> bright light! Bright light! Hey, there's my dad's camera. Uh, Johnny, your sisters... His sisters? Don't talk to me about his sisters. They use their only brother as a personal test tube and turn me into a canine freak! They told me to give you this salt. <laughs> Yet I do love them so. In just two minutes, we will begin the phase when moles rule the Earth and nobody can stop us! You already said that. I did? Really? Oh, well, it's true. Now it is you who cannot stop us. Correction. It is now back to where we cannot stop you. Um, run! Nothing can stop me! <laughs> Didn't I say that? I said it! He's right. Nothing can stop them. I never pictured it end this way. A picture? Come on, buddy. One more for old time's sake. Oh, my eye! Uh, that's not good. Say cheese! Stop the flashing weapon of death! I give up. I want to take the surface of the Earth! Please! Dinner time! We'll 
never make it back in time. The dozer is too slow. All it needs is a little boost. And remember, everyone on Earth has these flashing weapons of death. <laughs> Headed Earth boy, I will have revenge! I will! Maybe. I'll sleep on it. Johnny, where's my camera? <laughs> Here's a camera, Dad. Hope we're not late. And this is Eugene. I guess Susan invited him to dinner. Bling, bling, boy! Uh... <clears throat> Sorry, it's, it's, it's Bling Bling Boy. Oh, great, cuz I made a meatloaf! <laughs> Consider this pool of mud my way of saying, you can't fly! Kids, don't try this at home. <laughs> Boy, no fly, but my turn. Um, what's with your freaky sisters? They're waiting for Gil. Hi, Hi Gil. Gil. Woohoo! Hey, Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. Hi. Hey, Johnny. I am tired of waiting for Gil to notice us. We're noticeable! Yeah, no. In fact, I don't even think a turbo love potion would get him interested in you not hotties. <laughs> <laughs> Love gum. It will mutate Gil's attraction cells and make him fall in love with us. Um, didn't Dad say no more DNA experiments on the neighborhood kids? Yes, but how will he find out? He won't. As long as you mutate our DNA so we can fly, give me five bucks and admit you're both boogerheads. Are you blackmailing us? Yeah. Big time. We went too far with the blackmailing thing. I know that. <laughs> Susan, Mary, there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Yes, Gil? I love... I love... So, if we give you the power to fly, you must capture Monkey Gil and bring him back to the lab so we can change him back and not get busted by Dad. Deal. But flying is so three hours ago. So make Dookie fly, but give me shape-shifting powers, hurricane hands, and you still have to admit your booger heads. Forget it! I'm in downtown Port Belly where nothing can stop mutant skater monkey boy. The government has called in SWAT teams to tranquilize the dangerous skating primate and ship him to a top-secret government lab to do painful experiments on him. Okay, we'll mutate you. And? We're booger heads. All oh, right, that. But we want cool costumes, too. From now on, you are to address me as Johnny X. Never. Uh, this isn't going to hurt us, right? No, just you. Hey, I'm flying. I can go places no dog has ever gone before. Don't even think about it. Shape-shifting powers, go! Just get Gil. Hey! I'm really getting the hang of this flying thing! The mutant monkey boy is destroying our quaint rustic town! Can't anything get him down? Shape-shifting powers, go again! It's time, monkey boy, to end your reign of apple-throwing terror! 
<laughs> the mutant talking elephant is about to stop the monkey boy. Well, it says here we're supposed to capture a mutant monkey boy. Must have been a typo. Um, well, this isn't according to plan. No, but I'll catch Gil once I bust out of here with hurricane hands! You know, you could have just changed into a snake and slithered out. But I wouldn't have trapped Monkey Boy! We've got the mutant monkey boy and we're bringing him in. Don't lick yourself, get him! But I need more mutant powers. Lower posterior energy bursts. If we're going up against the military, we need to be able to blast out of any situation. <laughs> I'm not eating that. But you have to admit his accuracy is impressive. Ow! I, I mean... <laughs> Hi, sweethearts! Johnny, you look ridiculous. Ooh, ooh, cake! Tastes funny. And here's a monkey boy update. We're taking the monkey boy for intense and probably painful testing. <laughs> we want to find out how we could be used for military purposes or for a reality TV series. We're taking him to Area 51.1, a super secret... Don't say where we're taking him! Don't hit me, that hurt! You mean like this? <laughs> he looks familiar. Who does Monkey Boy remind you of? Nobody! Gotta go, Dad! Bye! What is that flavor? <laughs> All right, who thought it was a good idea to feed him apples for dinner? Flying stinks. Oh, perhaps you'd rather hitch a ride on one of those other flying dogs! We've uploaded the floor plan of the facility. Gil is being held on a southeast corner, block 13. And fly low or you'll be picked up on radar. Don't worry, we are practically invisible. We got a boy in a cool outfit on a flying dog. Hit the alarms! <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a bad sign. Well, let's see if they can take this! Shape-shifting powers, go! <laughs> Come with me if you want to live and get back to normal and not have painful experiments done on you. Back off! I have super mutant powers. That makes three of us. Hey, you have mutant powers too? That's right. It's a top secret project where they take it. Don't tell them the secret stuff. <laughs> we saw you use your shape shifting and hurricane powers downtown, and now they're neutralized. But you didn't see my newest power. Aiming power boots. We're still working on that technology. Ah! I'm not afraid to use this. I said I wasn't afraid to use you. Come with us, please. Hang on to my... Ooh. Home, Super Dookie, and step on it! I mean it! Step on it! Now! Mutants locked, ready to fire. This is Dookie to Johnny. We're going to need a turbo boost. And make it a big one! Over. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Monkey Boy is under control, and there's no truth to rumors that other mutants freed Monkey Boy. Or that we're lying about mutants. Oop. Oh, look at that. Where did that come from? <clears throat> We've got to go. Bye. Oh, thank goodness we'll never see that Monkey Boy ever again. Hi, Gil! Hey, Johnny. Mutants. 
Don't ever let me catch you girls messing with DNA. <gasps> Look, Johnny ate his entire plate of beans. All done, gotta go, bye! He's gotta blow! Girls! experiments on molecular fusion, I'd like to introduce some new students, Mr. Black and Mr. White. No way! The government G-Dudes sent to steal our experiments for their secret covert operations. No, dude, we're here for a righteous education and to meet babes. And Miss X and Miss Z. No way! Those are two cyborgs sent by some evil dude to steal our experiments to take over the world! If you shut up, I'll go out with you. They're cool. Now, today's first experiment comes from Susan and Mary Test. The Alchemy 5000. Since the Middle Ages, man and girls have tried to alter the molecular structure of ordinary metal and transform it into precious metal. <laughs> <laughs> the Alchemy 5000? That is your project? A pathetic medieval obsession of trying to turn metal into gold? Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Personal engraving is extra. Hmm. Hmm. It's just a milkshake. And it has milk in it. And we shook it. Don't do it! Nothing is worth it! We'll increase your testosterone level so you can grow a mustache. So Sweet. Okay, give me the shake. Yeah! Shows muscle mass increase by 800% and a height differential. Oh, girls! Okay, where is it? Ooh, buff lamp. Uh. How many times have your mother and I told you no precious metal changing devices in this house? <laughs> Professor Slopsink called and said if this fell into evil hands, it could be used for evil things. Now get rid of it before dinner or no lab time for a month. One month! Okay, we gotta trash this thing. Thanks, cuties! I blame you for this. <laughs> Susan and Mary Test. The only two minds on Earth almost as smart as mine own, but not quite as evil. And now that I have your gold-making thingy... Give it back, Eugene. Never! And it's Bling Bling Boy! What's the evil plot this time? Oh, I'm going to hook your precious gold-making machine to my super laser and turn Pork Belly into my personal treasure chest. But I won't do it if Susan goes out with me and we're boyfriend-girlfriend. What? Gross, no way. You will be mine, Susan Test! 
How can we get the Alchemy 5000 back and destroy it by dinner? Give me extreme kung fu powers and a baby pet triceratops, and we're in. Yeah! Using these extreme kung fu powers, you must defeat Eugene's ninja cyborgs, grab the Alchemy 5000, and get back before dinner. Yeah, great story. Now load us up! Begin Kung Fu Power Simulation. <laughs> Silly me. Wrong program. <laughs> I've tracked Bling Bling Boy to his parents' private island, 30 miles off the coast. I've preset the coordinates into the hydro cruiser, which you know comes complete with nitro rope, phone, and licorice if you get hungry. Here's a funny thing. I've decided not to risk my life over a chubby kid obsessed with gold and Susan! The island is full of tall, fresh, never been peed on trees. Oh, yeah, okay, move over. I'm in. Test of my evil powers will convince Susan Test to accept my invitation of love. Sir, we're not 100% sure that the laser fits through the. Silence! Don't make me cranky! Nothing, Mom. I'm studying. Girls, dinner will be ready in an hour. Is that machine destroyed? Almost. And where's your brother? He took Dookie for a walk. He said he'd be home before dinner. He better be home before dinner. <laughs> Wind is fun! Small watercraft approaching. Destroy it. <laughs> Uh, do you know what you're doing? Yes, I'm pushing colorful buttons. <laughs> ah! We're a large city duck! This looks promising, yet at the same time, disturbing. Dinner's almost done, so let's do this. I say we split up. You go check out that large, menacing-looking fake volcano, and I'll check out that forest full of fresh trees. Copy that. <laughs> Johnny, hurry! Get the Alchemy 5000 and get home! Don't worry, Psycho Sisters. With my new ninja prowess, there's no way Bling Bling Boy can stop me! <laughs> Whoa. Didn't see that coming. Your brother and a golden laser. Do we have a date? Why don't you just get some therapy and come back to school? Is Slop Sink still sore about my thesis eating his hand? Yeah. Then yeah, never! And now I want more than a date. I want a kiss, and it had better be big and smoochy. come to rescue me. I really tried not to. Oh, and I made a phone call, too. Okay, I'm out of here. You may have won this round, Johnny Test, but you won't stop me from turning Pork Belly into gold! Gold! Eugene? What's going on up there? I already told you, I'm studying. <laughs> Target locked. Preparing golden laser blast. Yeah! Our kung fu powers are useless! Is there anything that can stop him? <laughs> that might stop him. Johnny,
thanks to you, Bling Bling Boy will be punished to the fullest extent of the law for minors. So, he'll be out in about a week. Eugene! Bloody world domination again? You are in such trouble, mister. No, don't let her take me. Send me away. I I'm a bad boy. Arrest me, please! There's only one person who can deliver a punishment more painful and tear-inducing than us. Mom. Now, we'd better get you home before your mom does the same. Where's Johnny? Sorry I'm late. Dookie dropped a triple. <laughs> Thanks again for letting me destroy that gold-making thing. It was fun. I love you both. So, did anything else exciting happen today? Yeah! I taught Dookie a new trick. Anything better than kids playing the game of baseball? <laughs> hey, great play out there! Moving! No batter, no batter! Just throw the ball! Hit me home, Test, and I won't hit you! <laughs> <laughs> You're out! Game over! <laughs> Better luck tomorrow, test. Well, you can hit a thing, but you do create a nice refreshing breeze. <laughs> what? I'm trying to cheer you up. <sighs> Gil. I need to whack a baseball so far that people will freak and Sissy Blakely will stop ranking on me. Yeah, nice to see you too, Johnny. What will it take? It's our latest project for Professor Slopsing. It's a study on hair replacement. We need to test if it creates any significant hair growth. That would be a yes. Look at all this hair! Uh, think of all the joy you'll bring Slopsink and bald men like him all over the world! Hmm. Now, what do you need? <laughs> The game starts in an hour, and I still can't hit a baseball. The deal was that I show them all I can hit. Relax, because I will now throw you the not yet patented extreme magno tracking laser hide projectile, or the XMTLH baseball. It has a built-in homing system to this bat. I'd use the single setting. A higher batting average doesn't get the glory, but contributes more to the team's winning percentage. You just need to make contact. A light or hard swing won't make a difference. Yeah, great story. Throw the ball! Awesome! Not awesome. Dad, he hit old man Newman's house. Run! You kids, that's the eighth window this week. I'm calling your parents and the police and Santa and telling them you're bad. Bad! Just throw the ball back, you crotchety old... Never! Okay, so you need to make me another one of those XMT whatever baseballs. Can't. We're out of plutonium. The game is in an hour. We have to go get that ball. Who's with me? Not me. Me neither. I'm out of here. Then I guess I'll show Dad this photo from your failed mongrelfication experiment. Or this one to the neighborhood dogs. No fair! I was sleeping! Where did you get the van? Found it. The ball is in the living room. Zip in, grab the ball, zip out, and we're out of here. Move! This is gonna be like taking candy from a baby. But I'll replace the candy with a baseball. And the baby with a crotchety old man! <laughs> Johnny, the sonar scan has picked up a large moving beast. <laughs> Big dog! Big dog! Time for plan B.
sorry. Some old dude called and said this was parked illegally. Ha! You're no match for my superior old mind. Ho, ho, ho! Somebody's on my naughty list and better get back that baseball ho, ho! I need that baseball! This guy is good. Really good. The game is in 10 minutes. I'm going to be a laughing stock again, and you're not doing anything to... Ah! Ah. Time for plan H. I think we have to plan I. Actually, it's plan J. Hi, Mr. Newman. This is your pharmacist. Your dentures and uh, laxatives are ready. Never use them. Uh. Oh, I meant, uh, we have a new gel that will make you younger, so please come down and get it. Cool. Okay, let's put Plan J into action. Actually, I recrunched the numbers, and this is Plan K. It's the perfect plan. Ah, it doesn't fit! Tell me something I don't know. Go get it. Go get the ball, boy. What, you talking to me? Why me? Because you're part retriever and that's what they do. And the dog beast is asleep. So, go! Well, what do you know? I am part retriever. Wait, you sleepy in yard. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Time for playing K. L. Run! We gotta do something. Wait a minute. We don't have one. What are you doing? You're supposed to hit the evil dogs. I just have to make contact. Okay, I see where you're going with this now. <laughs> Woohoo! We made it. We're gonna live. We're gonna live. Or not. Ah! <gasps> there is no gel that makes you younger. I just want the ball back. What do I have to do? How about an apology for breaking my window? Fine. He's sorry he broke your window. Now the game's about to start. And turn the diamond around so my house isn't a home run target. Deal. And you don't have to yell. Anything else? And maybe uh, I could coach some games sometimes today, maybe. Sure. But no dog beasts. They are evil! They're not dog beasts. They are my Smoopy Puppy Wuppies, Sheila and Betsy. And they can be very sweet. Let's go, Johnny! Game over, everyone. Test is up. Don't strike out this time! Come on, Johnny! A home run wins the game! Oh, he'll be running home all right. As in crying to his mommy right after I strike him! What? Yeah! We're such geniuses. but crazier than me, man, test house. Johnny! Johnny! Run!
will charge back back The genius sisters use them like a lab rat A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom But the boy's best friend is a talking dog That's right Extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game controller skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test. Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Why are we here so early? The water's not even awake yet. If you want to get a good spot on the beach, you have to get here early. Not on my watch, mister! Excuse me, but this spot is taken. That should protect you for the next hour. Remember, family picnic is at 6 o'clock. Sure. So I expect you all back here on the nose. Now go have fun. And remember, no soda, no candy, and no life-threatening scientific experiments. Carry on. Hey, Dookie. I found a can. There was another can down there. If only I could breathe underwater, I could collect a ton of cans, redeem them, and buy our own island. Nah, a boy can dream. A boy who has two super genius twin sisters can do more than dream. Hi, Gil! What does she have that we don't? A gorgeous face, a perfect tan, and strong white teeth. Hey, we have strong white teeth. You need a perfect tan. Everyone looks better with a tan. Almost everyone. Johnny's right. If we were any paler, we'd be translucent. So, we get the tan and then get the gill. What a coincidence, because I need a gill too. And webbed feet and webbed hands. We'd love to help, but we're busy trying to win Gil's heart. Say no more. Gil, my sisters love you! We'll help you! Aqua conversion process to begin in T minus 10 seconds. Nine, eight. Just skip to the good part. Three, two, one. Say hello to Dipsy Johnny, King of the Sea! <laughs> I can't believe you turned your only brother into a fish and... I'd like to give you two a piece of my mind. But <laughs> suddenly... <laughs> can't... <laughs> breathe! <laughs> now, to work on the perfect tan that will knock Gil's socks off. You work on a tan your way, and I'll work on one my way. What do you want to explore first? The underwater sea life? Those barrels of toxic waste? Or that secret underwater glass dome civilization? In a just world, he'd be my pet. Aha! The world's first instant hyperkinetic tanning spray. That has never been tested and could have horrible side effects. Hmm. Johnny's already a fish, so... It's so sweet that you offered to lotion my back so I wouldn't burn. What can I say? You're like a sister to me. Hey! We had a no-secret experimenting on each other rule. That only covers the home lab. And this is only a highly toxic tanning spray I whipped up. It works! Sort of. Who wants a green tan? Gil is not going to love a green girl! Now you're red. 
Your skin seems to change color with different emotions. Try calming down. You're blue! I've invented mood lotion! Oh, now you're red again. Adults are just as lame underwater as they are on dry land. Look! Not there! There! Swim towards the light, boy. Can I live here? Please! Hi, Gil. Wow, a girl with kaleidoscope skin. Uh, hi, my name's Gil. Yeah, we've lived next door to you for 13 years. <laughs> I think I would know if I lived next door to a super cool freak. Did you say super cool? Goofing on sea life in their natural habitat is fun. Ooh, I see stars. And I see three angry sea creatures swimming towards us. Do something. My lucky new quarter will save us. Yeah, that didn't work. Run! I mean, swim! Go land! Go land! Go land. Go. <laughs> to the portable car lab with the fishy fish thing! All right, let's grab a hot dog. Um, thanks to us, there are three deadly sea creatures that can survive on land. We have to get them. I totally agree. But what are your thoughts on the hot dog? So, uh, there's a clam bake tonight, and, uh, I was wondering if maybe you and me... <laughs> cool. You head to the beach club and stop the eel. I'll try and rescue Gil before he becomes Tasty Gil Nuggets. Gil Nuggets! Hey, pal, none of my business, but why waste your time zapping the tourists when there's a hottie giving you the eye? All in a day's work. By a mutant talking dog! If that land shark eats our gill, he'll be next on its menu. Hey, Sharky! Gil looks tasty and all, but check out the all-you-can-eat buffet over there! Gil, are you all right? Do I know you? Duh, I'm the girl. With the totally pale skin. Now ringing a bell. Hey, Johnny. I'm sorry things didn't work out. Really? No. But we still got some shark butt to kick. So fire up the fish blaster thing and meet me at the car lab. Hey, Hammerhead. Step away from the large man who eats well. Now let's send Loverboy back to the deep before he falls out of love with his tail. Two evil sea creatures down, one to go. Where's the octopus? Huh? Oh, the irony. Huh? I didn't think octopi were man-eaters. The Aqua Zapper fish converter has a slight man-eating side effect. I can't even help us. Yes, but I'll need a tuna roll. How will that help them? It won't, but I'm hungry. Okay, listen up. I want you guys to run around in a circle as fast as you can. Wait! Yes? Do you have any soy sauce? Now run! <laughs> You are a hero. I would like you to have this. Is this some valuable piece of ancient wisdom? 
No, it's a bill for the tuna roll. <laughs> Excuse us. I think your boy destroyed our secret deep-sea glass-domed civilization. Well, it couldn't have been Johnny. Unless, of course, he had gills. Right. Sorry. It must have been some other flame-headed fish boy. <sighs> Who wants more sushi? The snack bar had a great deal on octopus. <laughs> So if I test it, I get to use it anytime I want, right? Deal. The DNA of you. Ow! Just place any hair sample inside and it can transform any subject into a replica of the sample organism. Hey, I look just like Dookie. And I can look my backside if I want. Ew! Hey, don't knock it till you try it. The larger the DNA sample, the longer the effect lasts. Cool! This has got to be the most awesome thing that I have ever... Hey, what's that over there? It's the Amazing Turbo Action Backpack. Or the ATAB for short. It's programmed to obey voice commands. Really? Give Dookie a bath. Commands bath. Washing. Drying. Fluff. That was totally not cool. We're unveiling it at an important Make College Life Better Fair at the university tomorrow. It's a chance for us to impress the board, win a scholarship, and get invited to join a super cool sorority. I gotta have that backpack. Slap away hands! <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. This presentation is important to our social future, and you'll just destroy the pack like everything else you touch. You ever notice that the entire public school social hierarchy is based on backpack status? <laughs> What are you babbling about? Look around you. The really cool kids have really cool backpacks. The medium cool kids have medium cool backpacks. And at the very bottom of the popularity chain is you and your old ugly same color as baby barf backpack. How did you get stuck with that antique anyway? <sighs> Johnny, my father made me use this ugly World War II backpack through middle school. The shame and embarrassment I felt from carrying that bag has followed me for the rest of my life but it built character. Now I'm making you use it. Bye! I hate this backpack! The entire school is laughing at your backpack. No, they're not. Well, not right now, because you put it on the floor. Sorry, Johnny. Not really. That does it. Tonight, I am sneaking into the lab and taking the amazing Turbo Action Backpack! <laughs> when did they add the sharks? Your sisters are going to freak. They'll never know. All I have to do is take it to school tomorrow, impress everyone with how cool it is, and return it before Susan and Mary have their big presentation. Uh, my books won't fit. This bag may be amazing, but it's way too small. Shrinking school books. Wow, that thing really can do anything. But you're still going to be late. Um, go really fast? Scooping. Locking. Scorching. Hey, Johnny. Cool backpack. Let me see it, will you? Sure, guys. I just wish we could ditch French class and... Ditching French class. Scanning. All right, class, turn up in your textbooks, see will play. Let us conjugate verbs, n'est-ce pas? Presenting hologram. What else can that bag do? Playing video games instead of studying. Projecting Kung Fu DVD. Deleting bully. Hey, Janet, check it out.
<laughs> wow, you've really stepped up your baggage. Let me see that again. Yeah! What can I say? Everybody loves my Turbo Action Backpack. You mean my Turbo Action Backpack? And unless my instructions are met, which I've conveniently recorded on this DVD, you'll never see it again! How am I supposed to play this? Oh, right. Watch it on this. It is I, Bling Bling Boy, the world's youngest and evilest. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna skip the gloating and just jump to the demands. And not to mention the most suavely sinister prodigy that has ever in all of it. <laughs> and I will destroy the amazing Turbo Action Backpack unless Susan Test agrees to meet me for a romantic dinner at my estate at 6 o'clock tonight. Just formal. <laughs> Uh, newsflash, Susan and Mary are leaving for their college presentation with your dad's old baby bar backpack. Now what? I know your sister's a dog, but there's no way the chubby gold kid is gonna buy this. Not yet, but with this clump of Susan's hair and the DNA a hoop, you just have to keep them busy long enough for me to find the backpack. Susan Test! Welcome, my lovely. Girls don't walk on all fours! And now, we would like to present the ultimate advancement in backpack technology. The revolutionary, amazing Turbo Action Backpack! <gasps> Johnny! You're awful quiet and itchy this evening, mon chéri. Oh, I just have a bit of a cold. Oh, then you must try the hot soup. I admire your animal instincts. Just one kiss is all I ask. You sure you want just one? <laughs> blech, blech, yucky dog kisses! Miss X! Miss Z! Hunt down the intruders and destroy the backpack! How do girls run in these things? We'll lose them at the pool! Nah, uh, we didn't lose them. Well, well, well. Looks like the end of the line. It's, it's a hologram! That's right. Get them! Get them! Blast us out of here! Blast Johnny to science fair! You have not heard the last of Bling Bling Boy! My vengeance shall be... Hey, when did I have the sharks? Ah! There's an explanation for this that includes our annoying brother. <laughs> I'll say there's an explanation. That is the coolest backpack ever. Yeah, I must concur. I mean, the lines are retro and simple. The worn military shrapnel hole look adds emotion and the color. Oh, baby barf green is definitely the new black. We could totally use cool brainy girls like you in our sorority. Yeah! <laughs> Long story, but look, we're here. And so is this, the amazing Turbo Action Backpack! <laughs> you see, it's just that kind of complicated, over-engineered stuff that we college geniuses hate. Right, it's so wannabe high-tech, absolutely hideous. <laughs> Man, I just can't win. Yeah, well, at least you're not wearing heels. Ending cartoon.
your sisters use them like a lab rat. A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom. But the boy's best friend is a talking dog. That's right. Three extreme jeans and an air breathing shark. Mega action game control and skating in the park. A feral booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. Johnny Test! Johnny Test! This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test! More meatloaf casserole, kids? No, thanks. I'm stuffed. But Dookie would love some. <laughs> you are so going to pay for that. Girls, we have an exciting announcement. After careful consideration, your sister's begging and convincing your father, we decided to let you host your first teen dance party with boys. Yes! Oh, Gil. We've got to get the lab ready for the party. But the lights stay on all night. We need a party theme. You want to go cyberpunk, ghetto fab, or Japanese bubblegum pop? What we need is the Pharo Booster. But it's still in the proto stage. It works on the mice. It's totally ready for our party. The booster makes mice super cool, but it's still not clear how it'll react in humans. Or little brother. Johnny! Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Go, man. Uh-huh. Go, man. Go on. Now, if you want a girl to dance with you, you'll need a great pickup line. What's that? It's when you say something sweet to them, like, if you were a booger, I'd pick you first. <laughs> awesome. Works every time. We are going to be two totally wild party monsters. About the party, Johnny. There's just no way we can squeeze you and Dookie onto the guest list. What? You gotta let us come. We've got the butt dance down. And we love to party! Oh, yeah! Butt dance. It's butt dance. Oh, yeah! Well, we dance. might be able to somehow squeeze you in if you do us one small, tiny scientific favor. Uh-huh. Right we'll do it. Uh -huh. Whatever. It's a super cool feral booster. It boosts your pheromone level so you instantly become irresistibly attractive to everyone you meet. He's not drinking that. You mean you guys don't want to come to the coolest party ever? You want to miss out on cheese puffs and dancing? Or the prettiest and most popular girl at your school, Janet Nelson Jr.? You had me at cheese puffs. Yeah, cool. Feels good. Okay, what side effects should I look for? Hair loss, teeth loss, butt loss? You're just jealous because Johnny's adorable. You really are adorable, Johnny. Now, don't forget to hand out these personalized I Am Wi-Fi digital party invites at school tomorrow. Especially this one to... Gil. Hey, check out Johnny! Johnny's hot! He should have his own reality show! Johnny, looking good, bro ham. You working out or bathing? Just called chilling. Hey, come to my sister's bash tonight. It'll be even cooler and more fun than me. Done. See you tonight, extra cool Johnny. Hey, Janet, you're coming to my sister's party tonight. Forget it, geek. There's no way. I... I would love to come to a party at your house, Johnny. Great. I'll see you at 7. You can faint now. Oh, okay. 
party invites arriving. Wouldn't miss it, yo. Wildebeest, sounds good. Gilsan, I'll be there. Gil! He'll be in our lab in one hour. Time for us to take the Pharaoh Booster and become even cooler and more attractive than Johnny. Perhaps the booster needs a little more testing. Great! Gil's about to be in the palm of our party, and we just lost our secret weapon and... Oh, and then there's Johnny. Oh, Johnny. <laughs> well, his hair and teeth fell out, but the good news is his butt seems fine. Look at me! Do, Do we, we have to? to? If anybody sees me like this, I'll be ruined forever. They'll call me Gross Boy or Stinky Boy or Gross Stinky Boy. Uh, you forgot bald. How about Bald Stinky Gross Boy? I can't be seen here looking like this. Do something. <laughs> what? That's something. <laughs> Why did I give him the Atomic Shock Spring sneakers? Fine. Then I guess I'll introduce Dad to Gross Stinky Bald Boy. Huh. Wait. I can fix him. Temporarily. I got an awesome makeup set from Aunt Bernice for my birthday. Right. Then after the party, when I finally get to dance with Gil and he becomes my boyfriend, we'll work on the long-term antidote. Your boyfriend? Excuse me? Why did I invent that trap? <laughs> You're gonna need some hair, too. Let's get this party started! But if the lights go off for one nanosecond, the party's over! Hurry! Kids are arriving! Done. You look awesome. Really? Dookie? Uh... Oh, oh, you look great, Johnny. The, the ladies will love you. <laughs> Don't let him near anyone, and there's more where this came from. Doggy keep boy in corner. Hey, welcome to our... <laughs> and now I think it's time to get freaky. Trust me, you're already there. Uh, but I haven't taught you my super cool dance moves, <laughs> which will probably take all night in this corner. <laughs> hey! Break it down! <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, who left that open? You know, I had no idea how cool you guys were. This is a parte. Hi, Hi you. Yeah. What do you say we make our way to the dance floor? Okay, Gil. Yeah. Yeah. Janet Nelson Jr., if you were a big finger, I'd pick my boogers with you. Speechless, huh? Now check my moves. <laughs> Here we are, ladies, so... Sorry to interrupt, but I gotta go, because your brother is a walking ball of earwax. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I just remembered, I have to go home and, uh, uh barf. <laughs> Us too! But the party just started! And Johnny just ended it. And I'll make sure everyone in school starts calling him Bald Stinky Gross Boy and knows to never come to your gross parties ever again, ever. Right, um... Lights off, dance! Well, the lights off dance sounds like it's going well. Ah, I'm still gross! Hey, you said you wanted to be a party monster and... You are... And now the party's ruined! There's only one thing we can do to make this party great before Dad sees the lights are off. I knew it! I said no lights off! Girls! Girls! You said there is an antidote! It's an emergency pheromone transfer. It will increase Johnny's appeal, but deplete and drain the donors. So where do you find the donors? They have to be related. Open this door! 
know the lights are off, and I specifically said, lights stay on. Hey, Dad, we're really having a great time. Thanks so much for letting us have a party. We love you. Oh, well, okay. You look great, Johnny. You really do. I'll say. Earlier, I thought you were gross, but now you look fab. I'm fickle. Let's dance. <laughs> great party, Johnny. You rock. Yeah, great party! You know, if you guys were boogers, I would... Wait, you are boogers. Can't you take a shot? Target is in our extreme sides. Do it! I surrender. Take the money. He's a kid with rare hair disorder, not a dog. Hey, where's the red gush? We want to feel the crush of the gush. All the deliveries have been truck jacked by some evil extreme dudes. There's no red gush anywhere. Ah, no red gush! And don't tell me you're out of extreme cheesy cheese crunchies. Shipment just arrived. Now we're out of extreme crunchies. Ah! Ah, no extreme crunchies! Extreme! <laughs> 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 This team of young punks have pulled off such extreme robberies and are so extremely hard to catch, we're calling them... The Extreme Teen Team? No, but that's good. Let's go with that. And you want us to help you bring these extreme dorks to justice. Actually, we were hoping we could borrow some of your cool vehicles. We've run out of stuff to chase them with. And if you do, these front row tickets to tonight's Screamo concert are yours. The Screamos? Our favorite and hottest rock band in the world? Yeah, that's them. Do the shiny power scooters. Okay, to the super cool tiny spiker thing. It's too tiny. It's no use. We need someone as extreme as these extreme teens to catch them. Extremely. But who? Somebody stole all the red gush and cheese crunchies. If there was a way we could stop those extreme darks who jacked our snacks, I'd... What? Sweet ride. Now to stop those extreme teens and get back our favorite junky snack food. Hey, what does this button do? <laughs> and that answers my question. <laughs> have just sugar jacked all the sugar in pork belly. In the name of junk and sugary foods, we will stop them! I have the extreme teen team in my sight. Press the claw catcher button. It has 800 tons of grappling power. That should stop the truck and the extreme teen team. Gotcha. But first, I'll press the cool chase music button. Oh, that's catchy. Johnny, the Extreme Team Team are on a collision course with a bus full of happy senior citizens. Don't worry. If the light's red, the Extreme Team Team knows to stop. 
right? We didn't know the meaning of stop! We've got to stop that bus! But what about saving the soda and the cheese crunchies and the sugar? <laughs> Fine, we'll save the old people. Uh, and the plan here is... Extreme! The extreme boy with the extreme flaming head saved us! The extreme! We've caught the thrill-seeking extreme teen team. But they're younger than we thought, and one's really hairy. You two just bought yourself a trip to Sandpork Belly Maximum Security Detention Center, where you'll be punished to the fullest extent of the law. For minors. What? We're not the extreme teen team. He's right. They're with us. National security and all. Uh, so, uh, uh, carry on and get some coffee. We have to stop the extreme teen team before their extreme robberies put more people in danger. And we don't want to miss a Screamo concert. Extreme! The Screamo's tour bus has disappeared. They're gone. Ah! What does this button do? What would these extreme jerks be doing with Red Gush, Cheesy Puffs, eight tons of sugar, and the Screamos? Perhaps they plan on making some kind of weird extreme soup? Or having a super cool party. Check the police scanners for any noise complaints on Pork Belly. Huh. What does this button do? Oh, it's a make me pretty button. Ooh, let me try one. This place has got everything. Five people complained about a noisy basement at this location. Dookie, I think we're about to crash an extreme <laughs> private party. But remember, if you guys catch them, we get full credit. Okay, can we go now? We've got a big concert tonight. No. Nobody stops our extreme party except... The most extreme! Extreme Teen Team, your reign of snack and cool rock band checking is over! Um, I think we should, like... Scrap! Get him! <laughs> we'll need some refreshments. Cheesy snacks are important, too. Hit the 70s cool chase music button. <laughs> can't extremely catch them, maybe we can extremely trap them. Okay, how do we get it up there? And not we, you. Oh! These guys want extreme, then we'll give them extreme. Extreme! Whoa, it's so extreme! How do we get in? All you need is the secret passwords. What are they? We're the extreme teen team, and we're the ones who stole all the snack foods and the screamos. Oh, oh, no! No! Oh! We're the extreme teen team, and we did all the things the flaming Eddie kid just said. Extreme! <laughs> Thanks to your help, the extreme teens are no longer jacking everything in pork belly, and. We took all the credit. But there's still no sign of the Red Gush and Cheesy Crunchy Trucks or the Screamos. Oh, that's a shame. We promise if we see anything, we'll let you know right away. And for saving our butts, here's one more song for Susan, Mary, Johnny, and the freaky kid with the hair disease. 
Pigs could just score a goal. Let's go, Ice Pigs! Ah! <laughs> boo! Boo! Oh, the crowd of two is really getting into it. Boo! Hammerheads weak! Boo! And the Hammerheads don't like it. They're heading into the stands. Are they allowed to do that? It's hockey, Johnny. Since when are the rules? Run! Protection getaway mode. They poke fun at your sisters a lot, but they do make a nice armored bike. Now, if they could only help me make a decent hockey team. Thomas Edison experiment commencing. Experiment failed. Ew. Ew! I'm not eating that. We need Edison's original plans on accelerated veggie growth. This book apparently left out some details. Susan, Mally, you've got to help us. Whoa, who busted a grumpy? Don't look at me. I know usually it is me, but this time, doggy no go. Actually, Johnny, we're recreating one of the lost inventions of Thomas Edison, the electric lettuce accelerator. And yet you wonder why you don't have a social life. When you plug these electrodes into common soil, you can grow a head of lettuce in less than 10 seconds. It's the microwave popcorn of salads. Yeah, but it's a salad, not popcorn. Is there something we can do for you? Yeah, the ice pigs are getting their pucks kicked, and I want to help them win a game before they move the team to Florida and change their name to the Sun Pigs. And at the end of the first period, it's the Hammerheads 10 and the future Florida Sun Pigs 0. You don't suppose this Edison dude invented an electric hockey winning thing, do you? It's highly unlikely that you'd find one of his hockey inventions in that book. But you could always go back in time and ask him yourself with... The Turbo Tea House Time Machine. It's a little girly, don't you think? Yeah, but Dad doesn't suspect it's a time machine. Now, I'll set the coordinates for Edison's lab about 100 years ago. 
Just pick up the original plans for the lettuce accelerator. And ask him about his great hockey inventions that will help your hapless ice poodles. Ice pigs! If we hurry, we can make it back before the end of the game. <laughs> now, if you get lost, just consult this history book. <laughs> and pull the creamer to make it go. You mean this thing here? Who are you? What are you doing here? We've just come from the future. In that thing? It's a little girly, don't you think? Yeah, just show us the hockey inventions. Don't have them. But I do have the electric lettuce accelerator. It will increase our food supply and wipe out hunger. Yeah, well, I'm from the future, pal, and what we're really hungry for is accelerated nachos. Nachos. Hmm. Come on, didn't you ever invent a magic hockey stick or an auto-scoring puck? Mr. Edison, it's an honor to meet you. Your inventions have contributed so much to modern society. Hey, what's this do? Yo. Yeah, I just blew up Thomas Edison! What? Now how am I gonna help the ice pigs? I think he's breathing. Don't sweat it. Says here he doesn't die for another 20 years but he mysteriously walked with a limp from this day forth. Oh, that's not so bad. Mr. Edison, is everything all right? Yeah, uh, I'm fine. I just invented smoking hair. Carry on. Run! I got the plans, let's go! Yank the creamer! Let's go back to the present and forget all about this time thing! But well, what about the ice pigs? We need to help them! Let's face it, Johnny, I don't think the toughest guys in history can help the ice pigs. Hmm. Well, there's only one way to find out! <laughs> hey, mm -hmm. caveman, you hit rock and cave. Great. You'll play defense. Hmm? He's trying to eat my leg! Settle down, you two, or I will turn this girly tea house around. Is there someone named Attila the Hun? I heard he's a big wuss. <laughs> Vikings, Vikings. <laughs> We're back. Here are your plans. Gotta go. Fight. Um, who are these guys? Well, he's a caveman. He's a mongrel warrior. That guy's a Viking. Black Knight over there. And my man here is Attila the Hunt. Johnny, those are the most violent warriors and savages from all recorded history! No, they are the new Ice Pigs hockey team. Dad's precious meatloaf collection! <laughs> Johnny, do something! Oh, all right, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Excuse me, savages! We need to talk! Will you stop that? I want to talk to you about something really important. Hockey. See, we all have dreams. Vikings, you want to sack villages. Huns, Mongols, you want to take over the world. <laughs> And the caveman, well, Ooh. don't worry, friend. Evolution's on the way. The point is, we all have dreams. And if one of our dreams comes true, it should be mine, because I got you all together. So let's win one for the ice pigs. Huh? Great! You inspired them to stop beating up the lawn and beat us up instead. It's part of the plan. There's still time left in the game. Come on. 
And with just two minutes left in the game, there's absolutely no way the pathetic Ice Bigs can win this one. Ooh, it looks like the Ice Bigs have made a line change with bigger and hairier players. The Hammerheads look confused. Now they look hurt. Oh, it's a big pile on the Ice Big. Who breaks away? The puck is loose. He shoots. He scores! But can the Ice Pigs pull off an amazing comeback? It's working! The only thing missing now is a disgustingly yummy, sporty snack food. How about a salad? From Thomas Edison's greatest undiscovered invention, before he got his famous limp, the electric lettuce accelerator. Nachos? It makes nachos? It doesn't get any better than this. Hey, buddy, try the nachos. Huh? Me to do what? Clean your room. I have a very important client coming over to dinner tomorrow night. But it's not like he's having dinner in my room. Is he? No, but this place is starting to smell, and your dad is a little wound up about playing host tomorrow night. Uh, I can see my reflection, but it's not crystal clear! He's been having nightmares for weeks. Just try to make the house exactly the way he wants it. When was the last time you cleaned your room? There was no last time. I'm going to save these for the museum. I think I hit carpet. Huh, so that's what color it is. That wasn't so bad. Yeah, but that might be. Honey, the place looks perfect. Uh, well, look on the bright side. My room is clean. No more of those horrible nightmares. The house looks great. Oh, it's not just that. I wish I could redecorate this entire place. I've kept a notebook by the bed for years, filling it with home improvement and design ideas for my dream house. But I guess it'll always be just a dream. I'm heading to the airport to pick up Mr. Sperling. Great! I'm running across town to grab some ingredients for what will be the best dinner for my wife's client ever! <laughs> Come on, Susan and Mary are waiting. Waiting? For what? This notebook is filled with ideas for Dad's dream house. We're gonna build it for him. Johnny, your parents will be back in two hours. We don't even have enough time to read that book. Oh, we don't have to read it. We don't? Of course not. The computer will scan the notebook and download it to our team of robotic construction drones. Sweet. Dad's 
gonna get the house of his dreams, and Mom's client is gonna be super impressed. Johnny, have you actually looked through this book? There's some weird decorating ideas in here. Like what? Well, like having a living room floor made of quicksand. Maybe it's some new design trend, but it's what Dad wants. your home design notebook to create your dream house. My design notebook? Sure. You know, the notebook you keep by your bed? Johnny, this is not my design notebook. Say what? This is a dream journal, which means you built me my nightmare house! That's right, your fully electronic nightmare house comes complete with Scary Cave Basement, the Stairway of Horrors, Holographic Vampires, and more. Well, that definitely explains the quicksand floors. The what? Ah! Oh, Johnny, are you trying to tell me that this entire house has been refurbished based on every nightmare I've had for the last two weeks? Yeah, that's right. And your mom is about to bring home. Mr. Sperling, please let me take your coat. Bye. Thank you, Lila. I... Ah! Ah! <laughs> that quicksand! Uh, help! Uh, help! Hold your nose. According to these blueprints, this should drop us down into the scary cave base. Movement! What is going on here? Oh, uh, Mr. Sperling, we just wanted to give you a complete tour of our happy home. This is the cave. Go. Uh, oh. Oh, are the centipedes gone? Please tell me they're gone! And this is my husband. Uh, our best chance is to cut the power. There's a central switchboard in the cesspool vault. The what? Your room. Oh, right. Here, Mr. Sperling, let us show you the rest of the place. And that's where we keep our pets. Uh, uh, cats! <laughs> Run! Ah! Run again! I can't go on! It's too much! They can all go away! They can all go away! Son, I feel much better. We need to go back that way. It's okay, honey. It's just steps. There's nothing here. Please, no! Not them! Not the stay-at-home dad clowns! Ah! Wow, your dad has issues. Uh, this cannot be happening! I'm going for the circuit breaker! I never thought I would say this, but thank goodness for dirty underwear. The house should be back to normal in about an hour. Uh, what about Mr. Sperling? Oh, he should be fine once he comes to. I can't imagine how I'm going to explain all this to him. But I can. Well, 
here we are. <laughs> Spiders, monsters, clowns with aprons. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? Oh, you must be exhausted, Mr. Spurling. You fell asleep on the way home from the airport. I had the most horrifying nightmare. Nothing my husband's home cooking can't fix. Listen, Dad, I'm sorry about all this. I just wanted you to have your dream house. I already do, Johnny. I realized that today. Now come help me whip up a quick dinner that'll wow Mr. Spurling. Uh, one more thing, Dad. Can we keep the quicksand floor? Johnny, please. Come on, you have to admit the quicksand floors are pretty cool. The Nightmare House. Super funny ending not included. Johnny Test. Please spell the word go. Okay, I'm ready. Uh, yes, go. Right, I'm ready to go. The word is go! Go? Are you kidding? <laughs> no prob. <clears throat> go. G. G. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Oh, how I wonder if he'll get it. <laughs> we need your answer, please. G-E-A-U-X, go. <laughs> I couldn't spell go. Maybe your experiments are damaging my brain cells. Don't be ridiculous. Now excuse us while we lock ourselves in this lead box. It's called the hairdo ray. It will thicken, color, and style hair in seconds. I totally embarrassed myself in front of the whole school and Janet Nelson Jr. Maybe you just got stage fright because you like her. I don't do stage fright, and I don't like Janet. D-O-N, some other letter, don't. Who doesn't like Janet? She's the prettiest girl in school. At the same time, you hate her, but you still gotta like her. It works! We'll always have awesome hair! Oh. Ooh. <laughs> and now you owe me a favor. Make Johnny smart! Ask and ye shall receive. Behold, the super smarty pants. They look like an ordinary pair of pants, but the wearer will absorb all the knowledge that has been stored into the cyber pant fibers. And the low rise waist and ground dragging flare bottoms add style. I can feel my brain expanding already. I'm a genius! Uh, can you invent me a belt, too? 
Johnny Test, student, his brain barely used. We can rebuild him. The pants will make him smarter. Smarter? Smarter. Faster. Stronger. More technical. And more mechanical. And Janet will probably fall in love with him. These pants have the technology and the cool fashion sense to make the world's first super smart Johnny Tech. Super smarty pants, I'm gonna hang you up on actual hangers. I love you. Another day, another opportunity to impress everyone with my super... Smarty pants? Huh, must have fallen off the hanger. Way off. Johnny, I hope you don't mind. I put you on our Battle of the Math Geeks team. Battle of the Math Geeks? Isn't that for math geeks? And for super popular and gorgeous brains like me. I'm the captain. And with you two, we can't lose! Whoa, wait! Wrong way, stupid pants! Ah! How could pants attack you? It's not like they have brain waves. They're alive? Wow, this takes breathable fabrics to a whole new level. As of 1.34 p.m. yesterday, the Smarty Pants became self-aware. And until we can do more tests, they have to stay here in the lab. But what about the Battle of the Math Geeks? Shall I call ahead and forfeit for you, or do you want to take your beating like a dumb guy? No way. I think I've absorbed enough Smarty Pants power. I can win without them. We just can't be together anymore. It's not you, it's me. And by that, I mean you freak me out! I'm glad you're on the team test. And I mean that sincerely, which is really weird for me. Our final contestant, Johnny Test. Find three consecutive odd integers whose sum is 105. Um, hockey? <laughs> what is the square root of infinity? Sausage? What is two plus two? Um, monster truck? Final question. For 10 points, Johnny Test. Using binomial series, expand the following function as a Maclaurin series. Time out! Look, I know I said some pretty mean things before. But... I can't live without you! We rewrite the expression so there is a constant of one inside the radical. Correct, you win! Well, how do you like us now, pork butt? How do you like us now? Ooh, frozen juice smoothies for everyone. A uh, go smoothie. Go smoothie. I'll uh, see you at the frozen juice smoothie shop, Johnny. <laughs> I need to look good. Then lose the smarty pants. They make you look wide through the hips. I'm guessing Janet doesn't like wide guys. I do not like Janet. Okay, maybe a little bit. Ow!
Great job, math geeks. And oh, great smoothie. What happened? Janet was abducted by pants! <gasps> the Smarty Pants took Janet. I need the hairdo ray. What for? The Smarty Pants are made of hair, right? They're actually a cotton fiber optic mohair blend. Close enough. I need the ray to destroy the Smarty Pants. Right! What he said! Johnny, wait! But now we just have to wait for the Super Smarty Pants to fall apart like the hairdo ray made my hair fall out earlier. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. Johnny, you took the big hairdo ray, a.k.a. the wrong one. But it still has that hair falling out defect, right? Actually, it has a different defect. And that would be... <laughs> Lasers. Say what? Um, this might be a good time to... Run! But run to the school! I just conveniently remembered something that happened earlier that might help us now! Time to do a little turbo tailoring. You saved me. That was cool. Um, you want to finish that smoothie without all the pant filled terror? Yeah, sure. Why not? Go smoothie. 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 Go smoothie, go smoothie. Take your daughter to work day. All over Pork Belly, parents are taking their little sweethearts to the office to show them how jobs work. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetie? Show them your real hair, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's also give your doggy your leftovers day. But, Mom, do we have to go to work with you? Take your daughter to work day doesn't do anything for girls except keep them out of school. My meeting is at the Pork Belly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Okay, okay we'll, we'll go. go. What? They don't have to go to school? I want to go to work with Mom. Sorry, Johnny, but it's take your daughter to work day. This is an outrage, a conspiracy against boys across this great land, and I won't stand for it. I will not be denied. You girls have a great day with Mom. And Johnny, don't miss the bus. Here are your lunches, but remember, tonight is takeout meatloaf day! So I want you all home by six sharp for takeout meatloaf. Or you know what? You'll take away Dookie? You'll take away the lab. Kick, scream, and cry? All of the above. Bye! I told you I would not be denied. Hold it. You're not allowed in. Unless you agree to do all the fun parent-daughter activities today. The parent-daughter funny photo, model rocket contest, whatever. Mom, please tell me your meeting is in that super top secret lab. No. Even more exciting. <gasps> oh. A boardroom? Emphasis on board? We are in the most advanced rocket lab in the world, and we have to hang in a boardroom? Yeah, that's right. Well, I guess we'll be enjoying Take Your Johnny to Work Day outside, because there's no way we're getting in that lab without a pass or parent. I saw something in this spy movie once where this agent dude snuck into a lab disguised Don't as... be silly, Johnny. Nothing you see in a movie works in real life. I stand corrected. Mom, it's great seeing you work with fools, guys, but we gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> Not check out that top secret lab or anything. <laughs> okay, I'll catch up with you later. Give it up. There's no way anyone is gonna let two unsupervised teens into a top secret lab. Hmm. We're in. Uh, 
Excuse me, do you have clearance to enter this lab? Turn around slowly. What are you doing here? It's my personal protest regarding the suppression of boys everywhere who must stay in school while girls get to go to work with... Okay, we get it. Well, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be with your mom. We're checking out the world's greatest lab, which also seems to be some sort of command center for military rocket tests. So where are all the important old dudes? According to this, everyone's at the parent-daughter funny photo. Think of all the things we could do here. Yeah! yeah. Like chicken fights! <laughs> Knock it off, Johnny. Chicken fights can be dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Launch sequence commenced. <laughs> Deadly missile launching in one minute. Oh. Didn't I tell you it was dangerous? No problem. I'll just punch in some new coordinates and make the deadly missile land in the Indian Ocean. <laughs> Target selected. Park Pelly Aeronautic Robotic Propulsion Lab. Why did you let me do that? Who lets a dog punch in coordinates? Run! There's less than a minute until the parent-daughter funny photo. Get your daughters and let's go. Say, funny photo. Funny photo. Quick, back to the... Mom! There you are. Time to go. But, Mom, we have to see that top secret lab because we need to... Go! We can't be late for Take Your Favorite Dinner Home Day. Your father will be very upset. Man, I love holograms. We just need to find the self-destruct switch. We'll simply destroy the deadly missile before it destroys Pork Belly, and there's no self-destruct switch! Deadly missile locked on Pork Belly. I saw something in this movie once. Johnny, please! Nothing you see in a movie works out in real life. Actually, hear the kid out. This old general dude used his second rocket to destroy the deadly rocket, and it went and the deadly rocket went and everyone went So it's a good thing he watches too much TV. So let's take out this missile before it takes us out. Intercept missile launching. Time for the parent-daughter model rocket contest. Fire! And it wouldn't be Take Your Daughter to Work Day without ice cream and fireworks. So if this doesn't work, we're all doomed, right? Yeah, that's right. Wow, that was much bigger than last year. We did it! We, we saved, saved thousands, thousands of lives! Yeah, but now you guys are toast. Dinner's in ten minutes, and there's no way you'll get home. Ah! Mom will see that you two are holograms, and Dad will see that Johnny cut school. <laughs> Quick, we need a smart, strategic, and effective plan. Right. Johnny, did you ever see a movie that can get us out of this? There was this one where a special forces army zooms in and gets the heroes back to base and stops the bad guys from catching them. Oh, that works. Let's just call a special forces army that can delay mom and dad and get us home in 10 minutes. <laughs> Maybe we do have a special forces army, as in every girl in pork belly. We're like girls, and we have to like get home in like 10 minutes or our dad will like ground us totally for life? Get in the bag. The red blip is mom, the blue blip is dad, and this is us. We'll never make it. This is as far as I can take you, but don't worry, I got you a faster run. What's your address? You missed an emergency call at 252 Pork Belly Drive. <laughs> it's no use. Dad's already at the meatloaf store. We'll never beat him home. You have a picture of your dad. Delay this, Dad. Delay 
this, Dad. Sir, you forgot your large drink and extra hot potatoes. Ah! Oops. I'll get you some towels, but it might take me a long time to get them. Awesome. Dad is stalled. <laughs> and so are we. No, you're not. We'll get you home. Okay, Dad, pop your load. Okay, Port Valley traffic is clearing up nicely, and it should be a smooth commute home for dinner on this Take Your Daughter to Work day. That's right, Dad. Now let's check the traffic over at the test house. There's Dad's car! There's Mom's car! But what are they going to say when they see a helicopter drop us off? And things look clear over the test house, except for Mr. and Mrs. Test and that mattress delivery truck. <laughs> We're here, and we beat your father home. Sorry I'm late. So, do you girls still not like Take Your Daughter to Work Day? Actually, Dad, we think it teaches girls very useful skills. I'm still wearing the girls' outfit, aren't I?